Here's meteorologist Craig Flint, your weather authority. Hey, good Sunday evening, everyone. I hope you had a good weekend. Yesterday, rough and tumble. Today, much more tame as we uh, take a look live over State Street and downtown on the U.S. netting cam. There will be a varying amount of cloud cover as we head through the overnight, maybe an isolated shower, uh, but I think mainly rain-free weather. But it was a soaker uh, yesterday right around lunchtime, midday. So let's bring you up to date on the numbers. Now, this is still a little deceiving because, you know, the lawns are still crunchy. Uh, but so we are actually, believe it or not, for the month of July, running ahead just by a little bit, 0.32 uh, total for the month, uh, about uh, an inch and a half. Now, for the year, we're also running ahead by uh, almost an inch and a half, 21.45 the number uh, since uh, January 1st. But again, kind of deceiving. Uh, because it has been so dry recently, but those downpours yesterday did help uh, to bring us back up to where we should be climatologically. Tomorrow, lakeside, clouds and sun, waves one to three footers, near shore waters in Lake Erie, water temperature off Waterworks Beach of 77. Check out these numbers tonight from the Weather Watchers chiming in. Low and mid 70s, 75 in uh, Northeast, 78 Penn State Barren, mid 70s Fairview to McCain, 79. In Lake City, 76 at Niagara Pier, 74 in Edinburgh, and we're looking at mid-70s as you make your way towards uh, French Creek and Cory at last check. Humidity, fairly comfortable as well. Over into um, Warren County, looking at numbers in the mid-70s, Saybrook to Youngsville. 80, though, as you make your way towards the Meadville area, 78 North Meadville, 79 in Sagertown. Humidity will not be a factor as we head through tomorrow. Tuesday. It does start to climb back up though as we head into Wednesday, so more heat and humidity uh, coming back into play. Uh, let's uh, talk about uh, um, what to expect here. Come on, computer, don't do this to me now. You can do it. There we go. Satellite radar. Sometimes you just got to talk to it a little bit. So we did have those uh, showers and thunder showers pop up away from Lake Erie uh, today. Now, I, can I, I can't completely rule out an isolated shower as we head through the overnight hours, but overall, it's a calmer weather pattern. And again, less humid as we head through tomorrow, Tuesday, and then the heat and humidity is back here by late week. And there will also be a few storms around by late week, we think. So future cast, uh, showers and widely scattered, isolated thunder showers go away as we head through the evening. And now through the day on Monday, mix of clouds and sun. I can't completely rule out a splash and dash or isolated shower somewhere, but I think mainly dry. Tuesday looking pretty good. Lots of sunshine, comfortable humidity levels. Temperatures will be back to 80 or better. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore tonight. Expect temperatures to drop down 62 to 67 under a varying amount of clouds. Areas south of I-90. Uh, variable clouds could be a few drops this evening, 57 to 62, and for the Chautauqua Allegheny region, partly to mostly cloudy, lows 52 to 57. All right, down the road we go. So, uh, again, a little bit cooler tomorrow. Could be a passing shower, brief and fleeting. Sunshine Tuesday, 82, still comfortable humidity. And then we start to crank the heat and humidity up here as we head towards Wednesday and towards uh, late in the week, 90 uh, returning Thursday, maybe even Friday, Saturday as well. A couple of showers and storms around Sunday, uh, steamy and highs near 90 with some scattered storms. Your are at Click on weather for the latest updated forecast. Check out the WeatherCam's interactive radar there as well. So definitely better weather today. Would you say it would have been good weather to maybe ride a motorcycle? Have you ever been on a motorcycle? No, uh, I don't even have the, the license. you got to get uh, certified and everything. So, oh, uh, I was no. unaware of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I haven't been on one either. <laughs> All right, Greg, thanks. Speaking of which, coming up, we'll tell you how a poker run, a car show, and a 100-mile ride motorcycle is raising money for children with life-threatening illnesses. 